at five. We live. <laughs> Everything's backwards, and that's the only thing I hate. I always forget that. Like you go to the go wave. It's like, oh, hold on. Nope, over here. What's up, everybody? Let me get chat going over on this one. This chat is slow at times. Now I know why. What's weird? Huh? Yeah, everything. No, it's a capital W. Why? Network. I know. I just do that to make it different. Yeah, it made it different. It made it like what the network. Birdman, what's up? RDFPB. Chocolate. Don't know any other way to send it. That's breaking something. So you and Squish did get together today? And find that lock? <laughs> Some shit. RC Funds. Up, up, up. Your beers. Shopping, you'll be in completely when they get home. <laughs> Try and get my chuck on. Yeah, burrs, cool beans. I know you were like, get with me, Joe. Close to share screen to see how this does. Don't want to share the screen. I forget you can't change the screen around. Don't have nobody in. So you're, Kaz, what's up, Wayne? So you had to put electrical tape around your flight control, like literally wrap it around to what, like the ESC and all that to hold it from, I guess, vibrating is what it was doing, too much vibration? Yes, sir. We got, uh, look, that's cool. The actually backwards part works for this because... I can slide this way and get out of the way and still show it, but then I gotta watch where I'm pointing, see? <laughs> yeah, so I got them all laid out here, the ones that we still have. Um, actually, I did forget one. I forgot this one. Dun, dun, dun. Put this one back here in the corner. Got discipline. It likes to fly away. And keep it. Well, no props, so we we will be good. See, all the others can have props on it. But Wait, not that one. Bob said clickbait title. I'll learn how to clickbait title. Clickbait title? No, it's not. Here we go. Look, we got the Mavic Air, DJI Mavic Air, DJI Inspire One. Y'all know this monster, the Solo 3DR Solo. We got the DJI Spark, and you know the SS Enterprise, the unique Typhoon. Well, it's a Q500 now, but it's not clickbait. <laughs> Kenny, what's up? I have been working on yours. I got the receiver in it. I just have to mod the frame to get the receiver in there and get it mounted flat. And I got yours pretty much all figured out and dialed in. I got up the camera, put a new canopy and camera on it, and um, BTX and all. So I'll be good with you soon. <laughs> I just figured something different. Um, the camera birds, because I still got mine. I got rid of my Phantom. And well, pretty you're much not that the was only it. one that has both. That's. I think. That's the one thing. There, there are a lot of camera bird guys who are starting to dabble. Rob, welcome. In the dark side. Thirteen watching, only eight likes. Uh oh, get them, Bob. Appreciate it. <laughs> and we can still talk any kind of bird, any kind of drone, whatever, food. <laughs> And Birdman, I will get yours finished. I got to get your. I got the camera and then all that. I just got to go ahead and get it mounted in, and find a spot where we're going to mount the DVR, that we have access to the SD card slot. And then I got Ryan, work going on for Ryan. Pretty busy, which I love helping out in the community. That's what it's all about. 
John, I see you got a fast little uh, monster. That truck. Why ain't you seeing Vampire yet? There he is. Vampire, what's up? He needs some advice. Need opinions. So let's take a poll. Should he make this Maiden edit raw with no music? Thank you, Kenny. Or put music to it? So what's um, everybody think? Music or no music? The way you fly, I love it, so no music. Let's listen to them motors scream. I every now and again try to, I, that Rubik's that you do, dude, is just crazy. Like, because you do it so fast, the flow that you do it. Chuck Boat's porn music. Well. And so, like, I was, me and Crystal was talking, and I probably won't end up getting no more camera birds. Just because I got the ones here that I don't do much with. Um, I want to fly them more like the Inspire. I did finally dial that in and get it to where it's not a race drone. That thing was incredibly fast, like unbelievable, the movement in it. You move the stick, and I mean, it was hard not to get the little bit of uh, jello and the uh, gimbal because it would dive so fast or, you know, whichever way you moved it. So I dialed all that down. Now I have settings for the uh, gimbal that I'm going to put in. I watched a bunch of videos and figured out which one would work best because some of them show you settings but they're not even the right settings for this guy and then we have crystal's little thing sitting out here too and get it out of here her little key mom you have two crystals and a key mom your... yeah key share yes where uh the spark <laughs> is mine oh yeah i forgot don't be uh no uh oh, no that thing looks like some kind of like freaking crab alien <laughs> That's an interesting. Oh yeah, this thing that she doesn't fly. Oh, you're so full of it. Our guys need to see more video of it. About a while. I know. I wish I was. It's almost done. Cool beans. Okay, do me a big and a special edit for Chuck. <laughs> a special edit for Chuck. Here you go, Chuck. Go get your poor man. So with the camera birds, I've been wanting to add them to the FPV stuff, kind of. But every time I take it out and do it, I'll, I'll grab the footage and I never end up putting it together. And the Mavic Air is so easy portable to take with you. That's part, That's basically why the inspire more or less sets not that i flew a whole bunch anyway but when you can just fold this thing up put it in your pocket take it pretty much anywhere it does make a big difference and it can outdo the inspire i'm not gonna lie like footage range um the only thing it's gonna do is on a windy day that thing's gonna handle more than this but this guy does pretty good yep and just like kenny Let's said the, Ma the mavic mini is Possibly being released next week. No, it's Crystal Spark. She, as soon as she saw the spark, it was ball game. See, truth comes out <laughs> quickly on that one. She saw that blue spark. She said, "That's mine." Because in the originally, I was probably gonna end up getting rid of the spark to Ryan because he was like, "We gonna do that spark?" I'm like, "Really not sure yet." As soon as Crystal saw it, it was I didn't even have an option at that point to do anything. He didn't with even it. really get to touch it. <laughs> I didn't. He see. opened the box. And that That's was mine. <laughs> so I'm glad the Mavic Air wasn't blue because she would have just grabbed this and I'd been stuck with the Spark. <laughs> I don't know what you would have done if they were both blue. You would have had to come up off one of them. Thomas, welcome. Wayne videos, welcome Wayne. Wayne's been here too. I was he here? Yes. I didn't see you when you come in. My bad. Uh, uh, uh. Wayne snuck in on me. No, no, Wayne, you know how it is. Did you get those? Did you get those calibers done? Is it faster? Cause see, when you put TPU on our race drones, it makes it faster. So when you paint your calibers on your car, of course it has to be faster, right? That might get him to watch. Yep, the official specs have already been uh, <clears throat> leaked. 
on Best, Best Buy's Buy. website. So what? the new Mavic Mini that's coming. I know everybody keeps talking about that thing. They uh, say, uh, "No, it it's coming quickly." Um, I can't remember whose video it was. I watched they that little Eosheen thing that I have. They compared it to that, and it's almost like the same size. But yeah, RC crazy in the house. Welcome. <laughs> I know, right, Bob? Every time you do that, charge the uh, packs up. Shit weather. I'm charging all mine up um, for my uh, race birds for tomorrow. We're going to meet up with uh, Doc at Naylor Mill. Um, it's a ballpark or whatever they call that place. It's like a nice place. That's where I uh, broke the racer last time. So, I'm going to take some gates. I bought, we went and bought a uh, thing of elbows. This is crazy. So, you go to Home Depot. A three quarter um, 90 uh, to schedule, I think it's 80, what, the PVC? And um, what were they? 60, 69 cents each. 69 cents each. So I, we were going to get like 12 of them. It was $7, I think, is 64 cents or something like that. Then next to that, they had a whole tub. Of course, couponer over here spots it. She's like, mm mm. She tosses that back in the bin and grabs that in hand to me. I was like, Whoa, that thing's ten dollars for thirty-five pieces, thirty-five elbows for ten bucks. But we're going. I was like, oh hell to the no. He wanted Carlitos, welcome. That he was wanted crazy. Twelve elbows that was going to cost seven dollars and sixty-eight cents when you could get thirty-five elbows for ten bucks. I don't know that you can't see. So, yeah, that was crazy because putting um, E drone, welcome, Sky to you. Sky to you. <laughs> but so we use them on the, um, we use for the race gauge three quarters pipe into uh, PVC pipe. And Ryan printed a whole bunch of um, TPU stuff. But when it's like maybe in the cold, it probably will hold up good. I'm not sure. But, um, in the heat, it kind of gets soft, and the gate starts doing this with a little bit of breeze and all that. So um, when Liam came down, I saw him using those um, elbows, and I'm like, man, that holds them a lot tighter. And he's like, yeah, so I, I went ahead and got some of them. I want to get some uh, spikes and drive them in the ground, like two-foot rebar. They have them up there, and I think they were a dollar. Or no, they were two-something, weren't they? The rebar? For the two-foot piece, that was two-something each. Two seventy five each. So I'm gonna get like uh, I can figure out what like eight of them, and then set up like four gates, and then I don't have to use the two. So for a gate now, I use five pieces, and I can only use three with the uh, spikes, and it's easier. Bang them in the ground, hit them with the quad. <laughs> it doesn't just fold over. Go and break something. All right, Birdman says, Chris, I have a small problem. I yeah, have one well, charger that charges four S batteries. Any ideas on a good, safe charger? I run the um, Venom Duo Pro. I'd go grab it and bring it in, but I'm actually charging right now with it. Check out the Venom Duo Pro. comes in um, around 100 bucks, and it is it's a good charger. Chuck, all right. <laughs> I think it wasn't you, Chuck, that told me it was Ben's fans that just on that thing. Ryan said his fans uh, make noise. Mine make no noise at all. Um, I don't know what's up there. OG in the house, True Drone Reviews. Did you get that? Uh, I sent you that uh, track that you wanted. Because when I went to look for the name of it, it just says the best song, best drone video song or something. It doesn't actually give you a name, so. I tried to drop it in Messenger for you, and that Messenger said too big, so I figured email would be the way Venom to do Duo. it. Venom Duo, yes. Yep. And if you want to spend the bucks, they got the one that that, that does the quad, um, the one. Yeah, see, E-Drone, best charger for sure. Because um, E-Drone, Eric saw mine. He's like, bro, check that charger out. And he started, you know Eric, he's a guru. He started looking all in the back, looking at the amps and everything it does. He's like, Holy cow, because he thought it split it up. I forget what the amps and all was. But um, 
Yeah, he ended up buying one. Um, I got it. Russell just bought it randomly for me. Mine went bad to cord on it. He just goes off on his own. Next thing you know, he comes. He said, "You got a charger coming." And I didn't know what it was till they got here. But when they got here, uh, who was it? Plum, Plummet, and Mike uh, Night Train was already using them. I said they were nice. So, do they have like a shopping store anywhere around? A what? A trapping store. A trapping store. Mm-hmm. Bob said, trapping stakes are the same, Chris. I got you. Um, not that I know of. I have to check in my yard, too. I probably have something laying out there in the yard. Said, tractor supply stores have re-rod stakes, too. Oh, you got the Venom Quad, Rob? Yes. That thing. So, one time, we were at a um, fly-in in uh, Fruitland. The dude had uh, he had the one with um six. That thing was nice. I think it was either. It might have had eight. It might have been. It was the huge one. Man, when that thing, when you plug the battery in on that thing, that thing come on and had a fan on it. But they work good. Like, um, thanks, Eric. The LEDs, yeah, it's probably too, a little bright in here. I got, actually, I get the light on over there. It's a bright light, too. They look a lot better with this off. There you go. And then look at then we can turn the lights down. But yeah, that like I said, that charger is nice. I've had it now for how long probably at bottom? Oh, oh, wow. wow. I'd say at least oh, wow. more than six months. Probably nine easy. Probably, like a year. probably nine months to a year I've had that thing so far and it I couldn't believe the difference because I was using the um uh what was that blue one like the flat kind of blue I forget which one it was and that thing it was the authentic one it wasn't the knockoff one but it was a uh, I couldn't believe the difference of charging the batteries from that versus that Venom. It was just like, what? I get, what, two more minutes? <laughs> I guess it wasn't balancing the batteries correctly. That Q6. Is that that thing you're talking about, Chuck, that you plug in? Chuck's got one like this big. And it plugs it in. Freaking, I forget the amps and all that thing puts out. Crazy. It, I know it pops fuses in cars because it blew. <laughs> it wouldn't blew my fuse. That, was it Josh's fuse that ended up blowing? I think it was Josh's fuse in his truck it blew that day or something. Getting in the shower. Crystal saw your uh, shower curtain you got, Eric. <laughs> she was showing the other day on uh, Facebook. Uh, that was on uh, strange things you can get from Amazon. And there was this clear shower curtain. That had pockets where you could put your electronic device. It's crazy. Anything from an iPad all the way down to um, like the old fashioned, uh, the hell were those things? iPods. iPod, yeah. It has different pockets. <laughs> it was different sizes. It was crazy. I was like, I bet you that's like what Eric's got for his shower curtain. <laughs> you and Tom is getting back together. OD, that's awesome. We we'll have to drive up there one day. Just go up drive. Yeah, he's not that far. It really ain't. It's like yeah, not after driving to New York <laughs> and everywhere else. And we were <laughs> like five minutes from the P line at that point. No joke. Oh, All right. Oh, Crystal's got to talk go. for a second. Got battery transfer. You're, you're dinging, 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 dinging. Ding, 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 ding. That's a normal sound keep, in this keep, house. Keep it going so I can fire you. Talk, you, talk about your spark. You want to fire me? <laughs> Do you hear this crap? He wants to fire me. That's bull crap. But anyway, no. Like I said, we got a lot of guys who fly both. We have a lot of guys who've been with us for a long time that started with Chris when he was in camera birds by just camera birds. And, I mean... When you invest in a camera bird, you invest in not only a hobby, but also an opportunity. 
think of all of the news articles that I brought to you that people have had their lives saved. That's all by camera birds. Think of the industry. Think of the 107 pilots. They're all flying camera birds. So guys, technically, if you want to make the money in the hobby, in the industry, at some point or another, you may want to think about investing in a camera bird. They've gone from monster size, like what you see there, down to portable. And God only knows how big the new Mavic Mini is going to be compared to this. I mean, Probably the mobility, the portability, from what it used to be to what it is now, it's no comparison. But think about it. If That's you want to make money in the hobby, in the industry, <laughs> you may need to invest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ed, Snoopy's been here, bro. Got that little tree somewhere. Where's it at? <laughs> okay, Thomas said rumor is they have a belt clip for the new one. What? Hold on. <laughs> Man, you don't want to trust that thing on your side. That so, thing. So, seriously, how small is it? The Mavic Mini. Well, they said that if. Now they're discontinuing. They've discontinued the spark. They said if the spark's arms would have folded, they said that would have. They're not even sure if they, if they were, or probably would have been like the Mavic Killer or something. When I was like looking up the Mavic and the Spark, when uh, me and Carlos was first talking about oh, trading, I was Kenny checking says off. It's 249 grams. Woo! And that's saying a lot for it being a camera bird. Can you imagine? Chuck, it's. I, that's why I kind of limit myself to flying my camera birds because. If you would see Russell's face one day, I was at Winter Place and I took the Inspire up and I was taking that thing line of sight just up and over the tree, whoop, come down, tucking under the tree, coming back under the tree. He's just, he puts his head down like this and, and Crystal's like, what? He's like, I don't even, I, I just can't even watch that. Like, <laughs> Wayne was there. Remember that, Wayne? <laughs> Wayne's like, bro, that's crazy. But I was taking that thing flying around. That's why I got to limit myself to it because I like the fastness part of it. And that thing will move. Um, all, most of you guys that we met up before, you've seen it fly before. And that thing will tuck tail and go. But uh, so I don't want That's the last thing I'm going to do is smash that thing into a tree or something. So you don't have to register it. So right, because it comes in that little bit under. <laughs> it definitely will fly, OG. Throw it off the balcony. <laughs> Take a parachute just in case it fails. <laughs> well, like Kenny said, he's made some decent money just from his work with the spark. Yeah, that's, <coughs> that's what I said. It's like, look at so, Eric. Eric does 107s now. He uses the Mavic Air. I mean, it's definitely, if that's what you're into doing, like I say I want to eventually do it, but. Me and Crystal talk about it, but then we never kick ourselves in the ass and get moving with it. Yeah, remember that when I was flying that Inspire around the park like Acro? Uh, that's why I was like, no. And I put the um, Inspire, or not the Inspire, but the Solo one time. I think Greg got me to do it. Was uh, I'm most sure it was Acro. Yes. He's like, do Acro with it once. You see how it acts. <laughs> He's like, I knew that go out. <laughs> That's going to be small, and that's so that's going to be a good buying value, also, where it's under the registration. Let me grab that little um, Eosheen because one dude was comparing it to that, and it was coming right close to the level. Okay, Eosheen right, 
Yeah, you sweating. I mean, Rusty, Rusty definitely sweats anytime he goes and plays around with the Inspire. Oh, wait. Here's the Mavic Mini. <laughs> <coughs> so there, one dude was kind of comparing it to this. And I know that doesn't look that small or big, but, or small rather. This is the Eashin. Uh, I don't remember. I'm not gonna lie. E fifty-eight. I don't remember. I think the E fifty-eight. I want to say. Come on, y'all know it. I know True Drone Reviews knows this thing. Which one is it, Brian? <laughs> this thing actually flies pretty good too. But um. That's crazy if it's going to be like that small. So let's compare that to the Mavic. Look at his photo arm. That anyway. is the E58. There, exactly. Thank you, David. I thought it was the E58. I don't remember. I know I bought it, but I don't remember. Oh, and look, the other day, so when I was flying over there with Leon, I took the uh, Mavic and I was trying to go up down the field to look for his quad. I tell you what, you could really see it. Um, Real good in the monitor and all with this. I could see the ground like really good above the soybeans. I was like seeing all kind of like trash laying in the field and you know go down close and see if it's the quad and whatnot. And um, so I bring it back to me and I lower it down right next to the table. It just like it got like the car was here and the table was here. It was in between. It just goes and smacks the table leg and just rolls down. It was like probably that high off the ground of anything. Didn't do nothing to it. I was like, whoa, getting all violent there, little guy. But I was real shocked at the way uh, I could see because I've done that before, tried to with the big birds and scout the ground to try to find things and couldn't even get like a, you know, I could see something, but not a crisp, clean, like something laying out there. And I was really, really shocked. So yeah, this thing is going to be that small. That is that is a difference. And like I said, the video I watched, I can't remember, but he was comparing this one to it, to the new Mavic Mini. Holy cow! If it is that size, that's going to be a world difference. And let's weigh this just to see what this one is coming in at. Some, you guys might already know, but I know Eric probably knows. He freaking Mavic Air Guru. Whoo! 438 grams. And that's all in. That's a pack um, oh, all so up. This new Mavic Mini is like half of that. Yes, it's half of that. So I could see it being the size of the Ishii. Wow. I still have that, John. It's out here. Um, Brian wants, don't you still have the Litchi app? Um, Litchi app. I, I had it on something. I used to run that on the Phantom 2. Um, I got rid of the Phantom 2. I don't have that no more. So, no, I don't run the Litchi no more. <laughs> I tried. Uh, is that what I should run on the Mavic? I think I did try it on the Inspire, I want to say, and did act it wonky as heck. Dang, 438. And this Eashin little thing ain't going to wait nowhere. It's just 92 grams. Because you got to think of the GPS that's in that one, the camera. John said, I remember you printed a purple Mavic. <laughs> yeah. And I said I wanted to build that. And I'll tell you what, though. This is pretty heavy. Wow. 313 grams. 300. Well, let it balance out. One gram makes a difference. So 313 grams, and you know what? That's weighing them with the um, gimbal guard on. I guess we have to take that off because that would be up in the air flying. So 300 grams, um, the spark is. So that mini, dude, is lighter than the spark. Holy cow. And I'll tell you what. I do like the idea of how you can just throw this in like a – man purse or something, throw it over your shoulder, go with it versus 
this guy or this let me point right this guy. A photography bag or a drone bag. Um, sounds much better than a man purse. Man purse. No. <laughs> and <laughs> and that inspire I, I don't, is I something don't to I seriously tote. think most of these Alvin, guys in here welcome. carry purses. Purses. That's what I was trying I, to think I, of. I don't. So let's take the gimbal guard off of the Mavic Air and play it. 431 grams, so there was not much difference on there. Talk about, I think, 7 grams. And crazy. OG said he's going to get one, so we'll know okay. for sure. Yeah, you'll know. How this truly is. Yeah. Best for Buy sure. loves you, Brian. <laughs> Shoot, he might be getting them right from uh, Frank Wang at this point. That's going to be interesting to see how. Uh, okay, Chuck says I have a purse, a quad purse. A quad purse? I think that's more like a quad bag. But what I was saying is that's cool how they're small and, you know, compact and stuff like that to transport them around and stuff. But I gotta be honest with you, I was at Assateague about three weeks ago and almost said goodbye to this little guy. It was when I went up, I'm usually really good with my area too, like flying. I could just like fly over it one time, buzz it, and then know the area, like photographic memory or whatever you want to call it. That marshland, <laughs> when I turned and looked back, everything was like marsh. And I was like, uh oh. So I'm like, all right. You can get it back, no problem, because I don't like to just push return to home, even though you got that option. But um, I tried to get it back, and then I'm looking down, and then it starts going low battery, and I'm like, I'm nowhere near in sight here, so we're going to go ahead and tell it to come home. Man, I was looking out this way, waiting for it to come back. This thing came back way back over this way, because I tried to look at the road, and now that that's happened, I do know now how to figure out where you're at down there because the part of the road that I thought and I was asked Crystal I said we're not near the beach right and she's like no I'm like uh <laughs> yeah uh oh helicopter in the house with and what? Mr. Mr. Gauss, Mr. Gauss are together and about ready to rip some packs. oh yeah because it's y'all in Cali so it's early out there what so six something sweet send it you at the old hotel that place is epic I think this uh is keeping up on chat good, is it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Usually it lags. Birdman said I take two jumpers and a few loops. Fishing bag. I just take uh and people know that met up with me, I'll take a rod, it's just like a um plastic handle, and I just take the quads and just start stacking them like that as I go out and I call it a quad kebab. I'll go out with like six or eight quads. I've only been now um, going out and taking that uh, Martian 2 and flying it, trying to get that nailing down one frame. And then I got this guy that I just built. I know this isn't a camera bird, but it is when you put the session on it, so we have to be honest with ourselves. <laughs> hey, freestyle bird, now it's a camera bird. <laughs> What's missing? Uh-oh. I have uh, it down here in a bag. Um, the camera and the uh, VTX for this thing. But uh, I built this, um, what was it? Today's Friday, when? Thir or no, Thursday, I think. Yesterday. Impulse reverb. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what, I flew it line of sight and it's crazy smooth and locked in. So can't wait to throw some FPV in there. And RDFPV hooked me up with the camera and VTX for it. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, building a reverb. And I was telling him, he's, he's like, why'd you fly it line of sight? I was like, why? I ain't got a camera or thing. He's like, I'll hook you up. Well, no problem. Like, So I appreciate you, Ryan. I really do. It does help out with my broker back here. <laughs> Is well, that what I am now? If I tell her I need a camera, she goes, no, you don't. Which one? Which brand you want? We have multiples. We have lens, field of view. We have Pretty much everything you need. <laughs> you got, can only fly one at a time, right? She's gotten smart on me before. She's like, no, nah, no problem. What you need? 
Now she's just like, wait a minute, yeah, boy, girl, and they have me quads hanging there, so that's like. Well, see, no, this is the thing that got me, okay, and this is the thing that made you tell on yourself. For the longest time, he would tell me, "Oh yeah, I need an ESC, or I need a VTX, or I need motors." Oh, and goggles. Well, I'm saying, I'm sweet, tell us and do it. When money shifted, when work changed. All of a sudden, Chris started discovering his boxes of parts that he had shoved to the side over time. And all of a sudden, he started building full quads without really needing major money parts. And I'm like, oh, that's bullshit. She's like, how? He's done been busted now. He can't get away with that shit anymore. She, Mama's done gotten a lot smarter over time. Like, uh, she's like, how are you going to build that quad for that dude? I'm like, well, I have some motors and some stuff. She's like, I'm like. I done been played for a long time. I was time. like, it's just over here in the corner. I mean, I don't yeah, know. That you could be building and playing with your, uh, out in the <laughs> field. I remember when you went down the wall. Okay, that was a we ain't nightmare going out anymore. for me. No, but here's the thing. He went down the wall when all I could think of was yeah, right, how much right? money he was calculating in parts. Hand me behind you. And uh, then come to find bag. out, he has a whole little stash over here. My apartment bag. There's one against the door. The big bag. See this? No, the carpet. See this? Yes. Yeah. Hey, I kid you not. I went through this bag the other day, and let me show you. This bag has a lot, dude. This is what I call my carbon bag. Did I ever say my carbon bag? We have an Astro X5 clone. I was going to build this. I have the top plate for it also. I've done stole the standoffs, but I broke an arm on it. I was like, yeah, I'll do that, right? Like, that's that's a cool build. I grab an arm, no problem. I got Dark Max. I got the top to it over here. Um... So then I start digging through, and I'm like, what in the hell? I was like, oh, I know what that is. I was like, this is the damn parts that Chuck gave me. I'm like, damn, they're like brand new. I'm like, besides some scuff. Yeah, stuff see, see what I mean? Oh, wow. Next thing you know. Where did this come from? And the next, Oh, wow. Next thing you know, I sat Where there. Where did that come from? And I pull a... Uh, uh, Whole impulse reverb frame out of the bag. <laughs> uh, Wayne screwed. Why? His wife just got a job at FedEx. Means he cannot order anything that will be delivered through FedEx. Well, yeah, you just don't do FedEx, bro. That's easy to get around. Um, not all companies tell you how they ship. But yeah, so that well, was cool. <laughs> And Wayne Cos was actually looking for a reverb. I'm like, when you were looking for that reverb, I the frame setting right here. <laughs> yeah, that's what he just said. You just magically made a, a reverb appear out of thin air. <laughs> see, see what I mean? I'm going to try it for an apex. I'm going to try to take all those parts, put them in a grinder, grind them all up, and, <laughs> and see if it appears. <laughs> yeah, I got, frame, I got frames up there, too. Look, right there. Right here, I got a uh, Source One. Eric, give me missing a couple arms. Um, what else there? There's a Schizo clone up there missing the session. I snapped the whole session mount right off of it. It had those ears, you know. If you, you guys know the Schizo Nova, it's got those ears that come up on the side that holds the platform for your camera. Snatch that bad boy clean off there one day on a Brando. I was flying some steel beams. Um, but yeah, I have parts. And I'm, uh -huh. I never yeah. used... Uh, so I always try to stay away from Mitch matching parts. So I got like three motors of this. Three ESCs of this. Because I'd burn an ESC or the motor start twitching. I'd scrap the motors, throw them in a pile. Take the ESCs off, throw them in. i put new ESCs and motors on them. So now I'm getting to the point where it's like... You have to start using that stuff or you're screwed. So I, I ended up digging out a um, 40 amp ESC the other day thrown on there or mix and matching on the chameleon I was flying. If you guys see my one video where it's got that wobble, 
So I replaced one of the ESCs with that. So I'm starting to mix uh, match parts now, and it worked good. I was scared about doing it because I thought you would see the difference. You don't see no difference. Your ESC will take care of it if it's a different motor or something like that. I thought all that would make a difference. And then tuning, it really doesn't make a difference because if you feel something out of place, boom, you just tune it out. So Tricopter build. build. I know. I do have one that I, I'm like, I got the frame built. I have pretty much everything figured out. I'm just trying to get all my lazy behind and build it. The dragonfly. Yes, the dragonfly. I do have the frame. I 3D printed this and used some arms off of my TBS Discovery frame. Um, so it's pretty cool. So like your FPV cameras here. Uh, set your you know, camera there. Um, the, a tricopter is cool to build, but you have to understand how it works. Uh, so your rear one is on a servo, so your rear motor is going to tilt. That prop tilts, and that's what makes it, you know, do what it, um, how it works and handles. And me, I could build it to kind of just like cruise around, kind of like GPS or something. But that's not the point. I Chuck said you ain't never going to build that. Yeah, you watch. You say that. You say that with that Kiss V1. Hey, Rob, he's trying to tell me, man, Kiss V1, there's no need for it. You're not even going to like it because you're already tuning the crap out of beta. I was like, come on, Rob flies uh, Kiss V1, bro, and it's smooth. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to build it one of these years, I promise. And I've had it uh, before pretty much everything laid out. There's a box somewhere around here. Uh, that has the parts, most of the parts in it. Um, what was his name? I can't remember now. I felt so bad. The dude that got me looking at tricopters. Anthony. Anthony, what? Um, Anthony, I forget his last name, but, um, he got me more or less into looking at the, looking at him and stuff like that. And, um, I was, he said the frame is the hardest part. Once you pick your frame and get your layout. So I got Mr. the Winkyhead. Mr. Winkyhead. I got pretty much it I laid the, out the first thing. On, on how I want it now. It on that. But um, this was back when I was a noob printing too. That's not bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm going to build it. I want to get it done like that. I got a Kiss V1 that I want to build on the OG Wizard frame couple of things and I try to like push things off too and I just forget about them because I like doing things when it gets real cold and you don't have nothing to do but I stay pretty much busy year round now so Shit. I just got to build it Woodchuck, that you're never going to build that that's two against one all right y'all got all right now what's in it for me if I go ahead and build it real Chuck quick said you've been talking about that shit since he's known you <laughs> Metro drones welcome Chuck, man, you nah. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. So my thing is, and I'll tell you what stops me from doing it. I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you where the intimidation part comes in is the servo part. I had the 3D printed part. Like I said, there's a box around here somewhere that's in that corner, believe it or not, in one of them totes. And I think it's the white box right there on the top. You can see through I'm going to go through that corner one of these days. No, you'll I'm leave my corner rich alone. Woman. And um, I have the parts for it. I have the thing set up. I actually have the servo and the linkage. And it's just a matter of running. So that's the main thing right there. If I could just put a different or an average prop on this thing to where it didn't do all that tilt and stuff, I'd build this thing tomorrow and be out flying it. But I don't know. And here's the thing. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, how would it respond just like that? Just a prop here and a prop out there. I guess it would have to have that tilt to be able to turn. But then again, in Acro, wouldn't it just move? I don't know. Y'all got me thinking now. That's what Crystal named it, the dragonfly. It looks just like a dragonfly. Right, John? Great minds thinking alike. And you see how wide that thing is. It's freaking wide. Like, it'll hold a probably 10-inch prop with no problem. Uh, Chris Riley had a bad one. He got from Toff. Ha, Kenny said, try name. it. Won't know if you 
Don't try. I know, dude, right? And I'd do it and it'd be like false and it like it would just fly. You don't even need the servo and shit. That would be crazy. And that's probably what I just might do. Just smack. It ain't nothing to put a flight controller it, to wire this up to say like we normally do and throw three motors on it, wire it all in. Um, I have all the parts to do it. It's, uh, like that's nothing. the front two motors could accomplish the roll aspect. That's what I was thinking. Hey, Ed was betting with Chuck, though, that you weren't going to build it. So what's, why is Ed giving, giving advice now? And then think of like a rudder, right? The rear motor. And that's why it's so maybe the – I don't know, though. Our quads, y'all. You know what I mean? With them setting flat. Anthony, he said why and all that before. But that's the biggest aspect of the servo, adding servos. I'm like, I'm past that part. I don't want to add no servo. <laughs> and then just that's just how it is, I know. But yeah, I'm I may just do that just for shits and giggles. Pop three motors on this and throw a flight controller. And um actually I got a PDB and an F three flight controller. See, look, you now I start to have some parts that he before it, yeah, I don't know. Now I need a flight controller and yeah. Mm -hmm. See? That would be sick. He eventually tells on his And like Ed's saying, I think the two front motors could handle the roll, right? And then the rear motor could handle it moving like this. Oh, it God. may move in a different direction like wait, this, maybe. Wait. Are you talking about attempting to stunt a tricopter? I want to, yes. Oh, and you can, Lord. No, you can do it because if you guys coming. saw Dribs, the Dribs video with mm. the guy that Invented the whole tricopter thing. Um, he explains to you and all why they do it. Without the servo. Why does our quad not have servos then? Four motor difference. That'd be something to tinker with. Now, see my mind, Eric my mind like that. The spaceship tricopter he has has the other two motors opposite of each other. Try that. Well, here's my thing with trying just the regular motor setup. Will Beta Flight allow me to do a tricopter? I know you can go into where it says big copter and choose a whole list. So it will say tricopter, but how's the motor pattern going to go? If it's just one or, you know, like one, two, three or something, and it doesn't have to have that. Right, because of physics, right, Chuck? That's what I'm thinking. I couldn't get that word, think of that word, but that's what I'm thinking. But now you guys got me thinking like that. Now, see, my mind's like, oh, we have to build this thing, dude. This will be crazy as shit to get this thing to fly without the servo. But, yes, the whole point is to freestyle a tricopter. I want to dive a tree, dive a gap. Um, that camera's not too far off the center to get, well, realize you got to. How many of you guys remember when this charm. started out and everybody named him the Mod Father? There's a reason behind that. And I think that's where I lost my fire and on with the YouTube thing. Building these things, come on. I'm not saying anyone can do it, but you know the aspect of it. You buy the frame, you buy the parts. When you take something like that's all together that you bought, say, like toy grade-ish or something like that or with a shell or something, and then you tear that apart and mod it. Like, for instance, what I did to this guy right here. I tore all the insides out of it. It is the Ehang Ghost drone. It was a GPS drone that flew with a cell phone. It had a G box. Um, turn this light bright on. lights, bright lights. I think I still have one. I do. It's down here in a couple pieces. <laughs> but it had a G box, okay? You guys don't know what this was. This was just more or less a communications device for your. See, it's got a receiver built in there and all that good stuff, a little Wi-Fi module. And it was just for your phone. You hook to this with Bluetooth, and then it talked to the drone, and your phone, it talked to that. So I took all that out and gutted everything that was in this and put my own PDB and flight controller in it and then utilized their ESCs and their motors, and it actually flies with a transmitter now. And I could have went further add GPS because I've done GPS now um, on this one up here. Let me find it right here. So the Tyro 129, um, I got the full with GPS on that. So that shows me how easy GPS is on a uh, freestyle bird now. So, but 
I don't know. I like modding things like that, tearing shit apart, making different things out of them. And that's where I used to have my drive. I used to take all the toy grade. You guys know that. I take a toy grade quad. They'd be like, what happened to that thing? I'd be like, man, I just had to make it better. And I'd get better flight times out of it. <laughs> Whatever. I took a um, toy grade camera that was attached to the bottom of one and made my own. I called it a go-ho. I still have it, too. It's in these boxes right here. Those white boxes against the wall. And I made, like, my own GoPro out of it, didn't I? I took the circuit board, ripped it off, put it to the back, and then I took the transmitter, you know, instead of having that big bulky transmitter because I had to have something to start and stop the video. I took the circuit board out and then put it on like a um, cell phone clip for your side, clip that thing there. So when you go to fly, just reach over, hit the power button, <laughs> press the camera button. Man, that thing, come on, that thing did crisp 1080p uh, footage. I was shocked at how good it worked. I heard it. Oh, God. Ed, I love this is the Jeep box, bro. You will hit the spot. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hit the ground messing with the G box. <laughs> it actually came down oh. to attack me. That, that quad hit me twice. One time, let me tell you what. It hit me. I was like a child out there. <laughs> It came up off the ground and it went, wow, started doing something with the DPS, right? I'm like, no. I put my hand on top of it because the, the, hear me out first, the props are underneath of this quad. So I put my hands on top of it like this. Well, the, the GPS compensated, went sideways. My fingers went down in it, dude. I was like a kid. That thing hit my fingers. Russell's like, what? I'm like, dude, I don't give a shit. Leave that thing out here. I just dropped it. Freaking trans little G box thing in the ground, dude. I start walking away from it. He's like, "What do I do?" Like, just I don't care how you get it back down. Just whatever. <laughs> that hurt. It was probably seventeen degrees out that day, and when that thing hit me in the hand, oh, it pissed me off. Oh God, he came up so bad. I said, if that was a grown I, man, you, I would tore him apart. For weeks. My hand was. I could barely bend my hand for a week. I'm like. Oh, that freaking drone, dude. Every time he <laughs> moved a finger, he cussed a drone. And then one day, it oh. come down at me out here, right? And I have my boots on. I'm like, what? Are you serious? We're not going through that again. And I kicked it. Boom. And that thing went, Broom! it kind of flew. <laughs> Did you pass grabs it? <laughs> yeah. And brings it back. It was hilarious. If you guys ever had a GPS drone run away from you, it is hilarious, especially be under trees. It will bounce off the tree, and you will never see that camera bird touch the ground. It would just go, oh, I mean, it'll do everything it can to stay off the ground. I've actually tried to grab them out of midair as they bounced off the ground because it was just being stupid and just running wild. It was with a Bugs 2 out here. Um, I just got it. It was underneath the tree, and it said it was fully charging everything. It's like battery low. We're returning home. I'm like. No, you can't return home under the trees. What's wrong with you? And I took it off from over in the field, which was my fault because it wanted to go land back to where it took off. In the field. And it, it just goes down. And I got a video on my channel with it. And I put uh, the, a song in it like, don't stop. Because it's just like it was just going up, kept swooping down, like almost hitting the ground. All right, Alvin, enjoy your dishes, bro. <laughs> And, uh, so then... No, he's back. He's done the dishes. Oh, he's done the dishes. I thought he said, yeah, I got hey, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that thing was crazy that day. And it was just like, I'm like, why am I wasting money with these damn drones like this? And so when these birds came along, that's why I just jumped head first. Like, it was just like, what? Because when you build them, let's say they don't have that fly to the nearest dumpster lit open kind of option and yeah like you'll have them fail safe and fall out of the sky when you have something wrong or whatever but i'm telling you the with the setback and the bloopers that i could have made with the way these drones acted and in a tree here in a tree there just started up the field and it just take off and just i mean it was crazy me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I 
the tricopter. Y'all got me thinking on that. Now I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna end up breaking something. Probably the arm on it. You flew until the Tyrannus died. See, I will you not push have mine that long. Arm somewhere. I actually back here in this corner. Actually, do I have a? Uh, see, I don't want to hear it. So if you break an arm, you're safe. Because I it, see four more arms that you could probably use over there. No, they're three thirty millimeter. So that one's four fifty. Well, there's four arms actually, there. I do you have, have to like adjust it and make it a little smaller. No, no, no. Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I got arms. Let me see. Mod father, you can modify shit. I've seen you do all kinds of strange stuff. We can do another tricopter. <laughs> See? Anybody know about that? The F-450 flame wheel? I was big in the one one m 2 before. I actually have built the... Uh... Let me grab this guy. Let me get it out of here. Without the Very true and very, very true. The, diff the main difference between those things on the wall and those things on the bench is you. Who's flying? Not the bird flying. It was Who is flying it? Who's in control? When I did that uh, flight on this one for Johnny, oh my God, it was torture. Move that stick and that bird just, it was like, what's going on here? But this is the F-330 flame wheel, DJI. Um, this thing's got some low KB, 970 KB, I think, on it. My eyes can't see. My, look, my arms aren't long enough. Yeah, 970. So this would be a cool little uh, rig to throw something on and go long range with it. Lightweight. Stick that big old 4S 20, 200 milliamp hour battery under here, and sh you take this thing way out there. If it falls out of the sky, no big deal. It's just parts. <laughs> I've had this thing laying around for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'll never get, you'll never get this to, uh, that much power out of this to get that flex out of it, though. It's real calm and smooth. Real, real relaxed. Man, John said you can use that other arm for something else. It may a modification to the ghost that made it a fun flyer. They have um what I would say? I'd like to see something like that done the quad turned They do have uh like the little like quads like this turned into tricopters. Check out Ladrib's page and they do it. So the purpose of a tricopter was Let's just say this is the tricopter. Use your imagination here. So the purpose of the tricopter was it come out in film and obviously movies and stuff. So when fast cars started getting into the movies, you know, the old Model T's got out of the way and they come out Lamborghinis and stuff. The car would come past the filming rig that they were using. And, you know, on like say a Model T or something, you know, that, that filming rig can stay right with that car. But when they start using real fast sports cars, that car come and that guy couldn't get that turned around on him. So they come out with the tricopter and it, that, that guy could just, I mean, spin right around with the car because of the way the rear would work. You know, I mean, it'll turn on a dime and give you some change. So that was the purpose of the tricopter. And um, like I said, watch the dribs video. I forget the guy's name, but he is like the guy invented it and all that kind of the tricopter thing. Or the first to do it with the quads or something like that, but really knowledgeable about it, and it teaches you a lot about the tricopter. Reaper FPV in the house. What would? Welcome, welcome. All right, John, be good, bro. Tequila time, nine o'clock. <laughs> He's got that skull, man. I can't wait to meet up with him and check it out. That's going to be a frame I think I like, even though it's. Uh, I ain't going to be nice. I said I would try to be nice from here out. It's a good company. <laughs> the school. BFF. <laughs> but John said he had no problem. He had all of his parts and all that. So that's a good thing. We'll see how good it it, it, it hacked. Blah, blah, blah. Losing I knew I knew How good it flies. 
I knew I knew that name. I think the scroll they done good on because I think they're trying to get, like I said, Rotor Ride's attention and they're working with Tack and stuff like that on that scroll. I do like it. Um, Chuck said, yeah, he used a servo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's what I said to servos. It, it, it's key to those. Um, and it's nothing really that bad. So you hook it to your flight controller, and the input kind of gives um, just like, I don't know, what am I thinking? I forget how they say you set it up. It's not that hard to set up, to be honest with you. I just try to make it sound tough and hard when I when something like that intimidates me that's what keeps me away from getting it done all right Wayne be good get them goggles get them parts and get your goggles up so we can fly I'm meeting up with Doc tomorrow at Naylor Mill around noon depending on if it hopefully it's not raining <coughs> charging some batteries it's not supposed to rain until around five but anyway it's nine o'clock and Crystal has news to do that I know of if she's not then I only have one article. <laughs> one article? One article. She had one, but she didn't want to do. But she could touch on it if she wants to. I think she should have. Oh, Lord. You can look it up and read it. I think it was eh, worth talking about. She said she'd think it would upset a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. Duh, 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 duh. Talking about duh, 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 duh. I'm supposed to meet his behind in April. I'm supposed to meet Greg in April. And uh, do some flying. I actually am going to try to find something to eat when I'm out there. But then again, I need to stop eating this late. I didn't realize it, which I did, I guess. But I was sitting around the past couple of days like, man, I feel ugly. Like, what's going on? And then uh, I realized, well, you ate four hot dogs one night for dinner at two and then two later on. Then he realized that Chris is Chris, and Chris does nothing dude, in the um, average. Chris does everything to the extreme. I will burn a hot dog up. Call me gay. Y'all call jokes all you want. I don't care. Let me show you a little thing that I always share in the, in the group. Josh put this in there one night. I think it was Josh. And I grabbed that thing, and I every time we start talking hot dogs or something, I'll play it. So let me play that real quick, and I'll get out of the way. Yeah, you will. There he is. Look at that. That's how it is. That was a Chris Justice, but that wasn't me. There's more than one of you? Actually, I don't know why, but there's like three or four of them on my thing. Messenger. Oh, I can tell you. Oh, here we is. go. That's because whoever it is that we was on the other side of that conversation is no longer. All right, Ray. Hey, John Farrell here. You haven't been over to the store for a while. You gotta get on over there and check out some of that hot dog stuff. Get your wieners whacked up right. Hot dog FPV. Check them out, bro. It ain't, but it goes with it, right? <laughs> Go get your quads whacked up right. <laughs> get out of my chair. Uh, that shit's funny. I'm where you are. News! What is up, guys? Late so, <laughs> in news tonight, a drone saves a six-year-old lost in a cornfield. That is a perfect example of why we need a rule on night flights. It's a feel-good story for the drone industry and the communities everywhere. A local photographer with a drone saved the life of a small boy lost at night in the cornfield with his dog. It's a prime example of why a rule standard, standardizing night flights for drones could benefit drone pilots and citizens across the country. The Washington Post reports that six-year-old Ethan Haas disappeared in the woods beyond, behind his central Minnesota home 
while walking his dog, Remington. By 8 p.m., when professional photographer and Part 107 pilot Steve Finansaw, the Sheriff's Office D Department tweet, the boy had been missing for four hours. The temperature was at 30 degrees and it was dark. And he is six. Fines realized immediately that the FLIR thermal camera attached to the professional grade DJI drone that he uses for roofing inspections and to find lost livestock at night could help. While more than 700 volunteers from a township with a population of only about 2,500 searched the woods, swamps, and cornfields, fines began to fly at around 10 p.m., working with the Sheriff's Department rescue operation. With a few false positives along the way, including otters and other animals, Fines caught sight of what looked like a dog's head with thermal imagery at about 1.30 a.m. After volunteers had indicated a general search area after finding a child's footprint in a cornfield. Hovering over the area and illuminating the drone, he directed searchers to the spot where they found Remington and a shivering Ethan. It's another great story of drones doing good and a happy ending to a terrible day for an entire community as they searched for a missing boy. DGI's VP of Policy commented on Twitter that it's also a good example of what can be done can be done with night flight and why we need a rule. While the first work on a rule standardizing night flight for drones began several years ago, release <laughs> She hits herself. She throws a bottle at us and hits herself. Oh, Okay, we're back. Chris broke it. I think you muted it. I didn't mute anything. The only thing I muted was the uh, microphone to figure out what the hell happened to the camera. Oh. The camera just went poof. The gone. camera switched over to our OBS uh, camera, and I don't know uh, why it did that. That was weird. Okay. Next time we'll get something called Dream that's old news, child. I have done that news a long time ago. Uh, Leanne, welcome there. Rusty, Rusty's trying to inform me about the drones planting tree seed. I got elbows today, bro. You guys remember when we discussed that? <laughs> and now drones are finding six-year-old little boys. Like I said earlier, that's not being done, unfortunately, by those. That is being done by those. So, unfortunately, guys, whether we like it, whether we don't, just remember, it doesn't matter. The size 
or the quality or the cost of your quad. What matters is that you're having fun with our hobby. That's what matters the most. And my article that I had uh, seriously thought about not discussing is straight from the Pentagon. Chinese manufactured drones purchased by the Pentagon months after their use was prohibited by cyber because of cybersecurity concerns are now being used as targets and are not being deployed with elite U.S. forces on mission, missions. The Pentagon official in charge of acquiring military equipment has said. A VOA investigation last month revealed that the U.S. Air Force and the Navy has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on drones made by the market leader, Da DJI. Mm. For some of the military's most sensitive and secretive operators, including the Air Force's only special tactics wing and Navy Sea, Air, and Land SEAL teams. In each case, the services used special exemptions granted by the Pentagon's Acquisition and Substantiant Office on a case-by-case -case basis to support urgent needs. Quote, we are not authorizing utilization of Chinese-made drones out in the field. We are using them for targets. That's right. You heard it. The Pentagon approved the purchase of DGI's equipment to be used as targets, not to be deployed out in the field, to be shot out of the air. Kind of an interesting twist when you think about it. The government would not allow them in certain areas, would not allow them due to cyber security concerns. But then they go buy tens of thousands of dollars of drones. And if you think about it, depending on when they did it, they could have caught those drones on a really good price because of the new ones coming out to be shot out of there, used as targets. Kind of a crazy option. <coughs> like I said, guys, you get paid to fly those. Those, you increase skills. Not if you're in the military, Eric. And that's the thing. It's the U.S. Air Force and the Navy that will be shooting these down. So, you know, I don't know what they're thinking or, or what their um, excuse is going to be. Maybe they're going to say that because they are Chinese made that um, it's counterintelligence or something like that. I mean, ah, I don't know. No, Eric said it's illegal to shoot down an aircraft, manned or unmanned. It's a felony. <laughs> Not the military. It's a <laughs> right? Military. That's what it said. They could just. Uh oh. Alvin got himself a new FPV drone, the Bugs oh. 3 Mini. Oh, what, what? I got that guy. Um. Right, Chuck? I didn't start flying to get paid. No, you didn't. I'm sure you started flying. Because you thought it was going to be a fun thing to relieve stress, to kill time for some other reason. Yeah, yeah. But hey,
this little thing's fast. The acro part onto it, not so much. Oh, Ed, you just want the footy. That's all you want. I know. He said, I want to fly one of those Predator drones, blow some crap up, I and know. have the footy to go with it. Wouldn't that be epic? Oh, God. I'm with you. Pick me up. Oh, Leon said, you need to send him any DVR you get from flying with Gates. He sent you today's DVR. All right. I will. He's been flying every day, getting ready for nationals. I, uh. What's in your pocket? My phone. That ain't good. I got, uh. I went and got some elbows today, so I plan on setting some up tomorrow when I go out flying. I got my batteries charging. I got my 6S setting out there, so they're next. And you know what? My quad is on 4.0.1, not 4.1. Chuck, <laughs> strapping Roman that. candles to a quad, I do not think will give you the same um, That's awesome adrenaline show. rush as... Um, Controlling a predator drone and shooting some shit up. I I don't think it's gonna equal out. Oh, Leon's sick. He says the flying isn't great. Uh oh. Better get better for finals. You mean nationals? Nationals. Finals, nationals, thing, okay, right? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Devil FPV, welcome. Devil, welcome. Appreciate you stopping in. Oh, Chuck said bullshit. It would if you're shooting gas cans. See, you didn't specify what the target was going to be. I'm trying to tell you guys. So, Chuck, if you want to see something like this, trust me, it's entertaining. Um, Eric the Red RC is the name. Eric the Red RC. Go to his channel. Search back to his, like, um... I can't I remember what quads and all he did it with, but, dude, he strapped Roman candles. He had what he called RC wars. He had a buggies on the ground with candles shooting back at the uh, drones. And, dude, he would shoot and catch the bushes on fire. Shit was epic. It was crazy. Ooh, Chris crazy, used crazy, to watch crazy. him late at night, and the next thing I know, I would hear him in here laughing his ass off. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm not even sure. I want to know and what he's watching. how many of you guys in the lobby know any shit? Marky. I have been back in touch with Marky and uh I'm actually gonna um hook Marky up with a quad. Get him into the FPV side of things. <laughs> no. I yeah, John, you do, I thought you did. I was trying to think of who else who all in here would know him. Yeah, so um, Marky's trying to get back into things. Went through a bunch of family stuff and Green Frog, welcome, my dear. Green Frog, Kagan, he welcome. likes our light show. <laughs> I appreciate it. Some yeah, LEDs. Chris has got the light show on remote control. Yeah, it does all kind of crazy stuff. Change colors, flicker, flacker, <laughs> all kind of crazy things. Flicker, flacker. Flicker, flacker, strobe. That's another criticism. Flicker flacker. Yep, criticism. Yep. That's right. I like that one. Howdy, chat dwellers. <laughs> That's a new way to look at it. Chat, chat dwellers. dwellers. <laughs> well, Alvin, oh that's a good idea to use as a FPV training drone, but, um, you might still end up breaking the uh, wizard in the long run. Just um, the wizard's a tough little machine, though. Uh, That's what this one learned on. Oh yeah, but he's he wants to use the Bugs Three Mini, so he doesn't smash his wizard. Yeah, but just watch. You will still eventually crash. Oh yeah, watch when you put it in um acro, right? Don't try to do uh. <laughs> Try, try to like throttle up and then try to throw a maneuver in. It doesn't like that. Like if you're going to maneuver, you know, have your throttle already set and just do the maneuver. Alvin's good. He said the last time he crashed, he ended up in a cactus. Ooh. 
But a cactus is technically that, a soft landing compared to like a pine tree or something like that. Yeah, but it depends on how deep you're into that cactus. You got to reach in and get that thing. Reaper, flicker flacker sounds naughty. Flicker flacker. <laughs> Nothing. Yep, that's for sure. Birdman is definitely addicted to acro whoops. So I have been messing with whoops a little more, and I'm going to tell you guys, the 1S whoops, that is torture to make, not, we don't know what makes you fly, but torture to go back and mess with those things, to throttle all the way up. Like, that's, you have to be wide open on a throttle to fly those things. It's like, it's like I could take the 1S whoop and throw the throttle wide open and just, and just steer it around like it's nothing. I'm like, this isn't fun no more. Oh, yeah. Alvin needs a Tyro 69. Yes. That thing is the bomb. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an affiliate member of Banggoods. And I know that upsets some people. But if it does, then I'm sorry. But anyway, that thing is legit. I'm telling you, $69 and you will thank me for spending it. it it's well worth it. If that thing can handle what Chuck can give to it. I was going to say, Chuck's serious. Tyro is still flying, right? Right. Right, Chuck, your your Tyro sixty nine is still is still ticking, right? It is well. And I love Chuck to death, but I mean this man has killed like two toothpicks already. And Alvin, you could get that dude, and then you would could have your full think of everything your wizard does on the Tyro sixty nine, and you can hit the ground and bounce off shit, and you won't even break that thing. That thing is tough as nails. Because here's the thing, it's lightweight, so it doesn't have a lot of weight to come behind it. The hit and then you know break stuff, so they're really really nice for sixty nine dollars. I can't get over <laughs> how good it flies. I stole the receiver out of mine right now, so <laughs> you're you stealing parts again? Nah. I got I got a receiver coming. I'm good, but yeah, it's well worth it. And I'm not just bashing Chuck. If that thing can take what Chuck throws at it, the way he flies, he flies, dude. He he, he Chuck does not, does not baby his no, birds. He, not at all. Chuck work. does what it takes to relieve stress $63 in a hobby. Exactly. It's, he gets out he, there he and he gives cheaper. it full send. If you anyone interested in it, I will drop a link. But if you don't want to buy from my link, just go to Bang Goods and buy it anyway. Because it is one bird that's well worth it. Chuck said more likely to lose it than break it. And I have also, I got the Tyro 99 now, and I have the Tyro 129. He got stuck on the Tyro things, didn't he? He's like, T T T T T T T T T T T And, okay, the 99 got sent to me courtesy of Banggoods, but the 129 we bought out of pocket. And I did it to show people, I did it to show people that, you can get that $99 <laughs> quad to fly just as great as others. Now, I did crash my 99 and bash the arms up on it, but I have four brand new arms right down here in a box now, and I'm going to epoxy them arms, and then they'll take that next hit like it was nothing. So there, you got to expect the frame's not going to be quality because they kind of, they kind of, you think $99, so they have to spread that out. The best thing on it. The Tyro 69, John. $69. He said, I missed it. Which one is a great buy? The 69. It, it's, it's the little toothpick and $69 on Banggood, yeah. and she's tough as nails. To be honest with you, all of, all of the Tyros are great buys. Like, you can't go wrong buying them, to be honest with you. And here's the 99. Let's, let's get together. There you go. So $99 for a 5-inch quad. Everything ready to go. Um, let me think. Yeah, all uh, P and P. So you would need to have a have one whatever receiver to your preference. And um, so ninety nine dollars. And then I'll tell you right now, this quad right here for what this thing costs. You guys know that I can build a quad and put some good components together and stuff. I would give this quad three hundred dollars out the gate because it's a seven inch quad number one night Leon. night Leon. hope you feel better brother um gps rescue so if something happens you flip a switch this thing comes right back and flies right back over your head uh it's just like a all-out flyer 129 dollars for this one for the seven inch 
go go try to look up a seven inch frame and start trying to put seven inch components together to build your seven inch and watch how fast you spend that hundred twenty nine dollars. Like I said, I know I'm affiliate member of Bang Goods, but if you want to help out my channel, fine. If you're interested in any of these birds, if not, just go to Bang Goods and buy it. No big deal. Um, it's just freaking amazing the stuff that I've been running into with this. And I'll tell you, I wish that. When I got into drones, I wish that they had things like this around, to be honest with you, because this gets you in at a budget entry level that you're not going to spend a lot of money on. And if you take and watch the videos that are out there and take the uh, proper um, precautions and stuff like that, then you're not going to have a problem with it. Like I would say any of the Tyros. I'm not sure about the 79. They, they make a Tyro 79, which looks just like the Armaton Japalar. So I can't speak for that. That's probably all on one bottom plate. Um, I don't have it, so I don't know. But on these arms, just epoxy these arms. Get you some epoxy, uh, like this here. Some two-part epoxy. Mix it together. Run it up and down the arm, make it nice and clean looking. It dries super clear. And then put your heat shrink over it, and then the arm will hit. Now, this arm's solid, like these arms here, and I have crashed this. Like, I've turned the transmitter off just to see if the tra uh, GPS will pick up and come home, but I got something I still have to set up in there. I didn't do that. But these arms are still solid to rock. This one, on the other hand, I went down on concrete, splintered this arm all the pieces and d lamb just about every arm on it so you can see it just twist and turn but i got four brand new arms in there going epoxy them shrink wrap them and never have that problem again but they're well worth the money i, I promise you now if you take it and buy it for 99 dollars and think you got something like say you could go and buy from like say mr steel just i'll use them because everybody knows what i'm talking about no, you're not going to compare that to his. If you're, if you um, understand, you know, kind of like you paid a hundred dollars for it, so go easy. And I say that, and I go out there and went hard on it. It flies really good. But the um, Baduga was telling me that the boards in them, and they are thin. The ESC board is thin in it. So if you got like a tune that's crazy on it, high D's, I could see it warping that board. And not just that, just out there running it. Um, Probably on higher KV motors because it comes through with 2150 KV on them. So, and then this one here has got 1800. So I think that's that's where they they keep the KVs low to where they don't draw much amps, and that's how they keep the boards uh, running them. And the only other thing on this guy that I would suggest is putting silicone wire instead of this hard wire up from here. Just take a piece of silicone wire and kind of meet it up and down in here, and then you put your shrink wrap over it and not even see it then it'd be silicone here wire not send them vibrations up through the uh flight controller which i don't have no problem with it that and put some gummies on the flight controller so there's so little just little odds and then things that you could do to make this so much better comes with a caddix turbo camera um the vtx and it's decent i mean it does i've heard it does 600 milliwatts but then i heard it only does 200 so I gotta dig further into that and find out. It's got smart audio, but they call it a data link because it's like some tax thing or something that they got going on with TBS, like the smart audio part. You have to pay them their tax on. What are you trying to create a link? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you remember how to do it? Yes. Look at you. <coughs> Leave me alone. Just put whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So I can go into Bang Goods and grab anything and turn it into a link now. I think that's cool. Just copy it down at the bottom. Yep. Hey, it's a little trick, tip and trick you were looking at. Cut her hair for So that link that Crystal posted there. So say if you go there and you're like, yeah, I changed my mind. I don't like, like the Tyro. Anything you click and buy off that link will help the channel. Like I said, just throwing it out there if you want. I appreciate it. If not, that's fine with me. What to say, kid? I don't know, but it works. So it's got my code in it: five W nineteen oh nine. 
That's the affiliate that locks it back to me. But they're fun, like I said, for the money value, like just the um all the parts and like what I have coming. I have the um Sky Stars ST two two five, I think it's called. That's the next my next Banggood uh review item. Like I said, that's a hundred and twelve bucks. You can't beat that for a quad that you can fly. You just have to add your receiver to it. And like I said, <laughs> it, may not, it may not be all rotor riot or tight. Eric line said, "Oh stuff, no, look out! Crystal gave you the look." <laughs> <laughs> I get that all the time, Eric. Well, I mean, come on now—you have to give us credit. We know how to pop these. Hey, I give you. I definitely know how to You're how to put a link am, in in a, a chat. I mean, I just didn't know if you watched me do bang goods before. It only takes once. It took me a while to understand. It only that. takes once. She's like, you got to start doing your links. I'm just like, uh. That's all it took. <laughs> and if you just click that link and browse, it helps me. They like to see clicks. That's what it's mainly about. They're not. Clickity, 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 clickity. When they push you more or less, like, yes, they want sales, but they're more or less about you just putting the word out there and letting people know. Other than shipping, and there's a shipping. I'll tell you guys a secret to shipping. You choose priority, and it doesn't cost you. Um, a guy figured this out. Um, some dude I know, he chooses priority. It costs him like a dollar or two more. You know, their shipping ain't much anyway when you buy something. There. It's like two or three dollars. So within like say add two dollars to that, you choose priority. It comes over on the plane instead of the, the boat, and you get your stuff a lot faster from Bang. But usually within a week to two weeks, if no holidays going on over there. So remember that when you buy from it. All right. Leon wants to know, have you tested any super cheap goggle modules that would be good enough for Nats? His is dying. What did you have? You had <sighs> the, did you have the Furious mod? Well, I don't know. Um, I could, um, I know Wayne that has a module. I could see what, if he wants to cough off of it and what he wants for it. And E Drone has a furious module. I could find out from either one of them what they would be uh, uh, looking for if they want if they wanted to get rid of it. I'll check around. I'll get with you um, before the weekends over with and give you something some answers on that. He said that with a smile. Night, Chuck. Night, Chuck. <clears throat> edit that footage I know you're going to I'm going to definitely send you that that videos over the weekend mm. in the Google Drive thing wait a minute the fire you... videos I Chuck just... you will have those videos tonight he has drug his feet long enough this that is going. bullshit I thought you already had them by now I've heard Chuck I'm going to send you those that video uh, tonight, probably about five Yay. times now. So, what are you doing? Just messing with it. Why? Because that one's mine and that one over there is mine. I have to kind of like clean my things tightly before you start taking things apart. You don't fly. This little thing's probably got the uh, fix off in it. Well, I mean, things have progressed, so you never know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, no. Y'all are going to watch Chris get hurt. All right, Wayne, be good. I appreciate you stopping in and hanging out. Night, Wayne. You be careful and be safe tomorrow. Get them cow lovers painted, bro. He's already got them painted. He's got to drive to his parents tomorrow. Oh. Long drive. So get some rest and be safe. Race them cars on the highway. Painting calibers makes you faster. Right, Lynn's leaving in four days, so. Oh. 
and he's got two weeks to get it in Florida. The good thing is me, quite a bit of the uh, now real quick, man. places around, and I mean, if it's e-drone, e-drone's not that far. Hey, I was wondering, uh, so, what, you know, who knows? Serious module and what you want for it. Um, Lee and uh, his is going out on him. And Chris is putting out the feelers for I you, my dear. Mom's birthday, so he's going to show up and surprise her. You have to. You have to see the calibers. They turned out hey, good, Eric, even um, though it took a I long time to paint them. You know, module. sometimes things, babe, take longer, and it's, it's worth it in the long run. One so one you can't one always one rush one perfection. I was trying to think who I knew had modules, and if you were willing to get rid of it, what would you want for it? Let me know, bro. I appreciate it. All right, I got two. I got feelers out for two people I know to have them, so. We shall see. Oh, Birdman said Chris got caught finger in that quad. <laughs> <laughs> Fingering the quad. What are you doing? Exactly. <laughs> Just like John said, Wayne, tell her happy birthday from your YouTube family, my dear. Indeed. Where's the Accios? I have been training Acro to go out on the deck. He's loving it. He goes to the door. I've had him scratch the door once already. Um, in our Hotel California, I've been sharing little videos and all, but he's having a blast on it. A little bit at a time, in and out. Um, he's still a little spooky, so once we get him to that, over that fear part, he'll be really good. And I don't never see us leaving him out there. Um, Snuggies used to stay out himself. for extended periods of time but that took a long time to get to i got lean i got it hey sold bro um let's figure out some stuff hey lean twenty dollars i got you a furious module i mean how much do you think it's worth i mean well thirty dollars I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's good. They're, they're freaking awesome. I love them guys. That's freaking good prices for a furious module. Leon, are you still in here, bud? E drone has one for 20 bucks. And if you don't have the 20 now, I could probably get Leon or Leon. E drone. To uh, give it to you until you come back, probably. We know you're good. <coughs> cool, gals. Have fun he ripping, said twenty dollars. Which furious module? The same one I got. The true D furious module. Furious D. Um. Hit up um on Messenger. Hit up Eric Marble. Eric with a K. And Marvel, just like the comic. Mr. Gauss just got finished his session. Ripping it. There you go. He's got some cool stuff. Cool footy. Hey, Eric. Um, I got. I told Leon to reach out to you on Facebook, and then you guys could work something out because you're right up there near him. And there, he could probably just come up to you and instead of shipping it or whatnot. So. I got him to jump on uh, Facebook. That's cool, dude. Them modules are nice, too. Like, don't worry about updating it or anything like that. Like, mine, I run the um, oldest version on it, and it runs fine. They're, like, great modules. That's awesome. These guys stepped up one because they're, like, a $120 module, so that's awesome. And Eric's, like, 20 Night, John. And Wayne was, Have like, a great weekend, babe. Wayne was, like, 30 so. Fingers crossed, Mother Nature cooperates. You get to get outside and enjoy our hobby. Remember, if not, simulator on the inside. 
Whoop in the house. Shoot, thank you, brother. This is a you big know, to him. Really just appreciate you. enjoy it. That's all that matters. Hey, Lee, and get up with him. He's waiting on you to hit him up. Like I said, he's up in like Bear, Delaware, so he's like right. He's not far from you. Y'all could probably set a date. He could probably uh swing by, or you can meet up at a somewhere. You you met Eric. Remember he was up there when we flew. I remember he had it because he went to um, Rapid Fire. That's what it was. Will do, John. Will do. You didn't show him up, did you, uh, Hella? You go easy on gals, right? <laughs> Man, I wish to come out there and rip with you guys one day. Maybe one day y'all come to the East Coast for just whatever reason. Well, you know, there's a there's a... a Totally different culture on each coast. And I know a lot. I would Cali. love to at some point experience the other side of the United States, but I don't know because be my luck, I'd get out there and the ground would move under my feet and it'd be time to come the hell back home where the wind might blow, but no. I know. <laughs> If I headed to Cali, it would be at least, I know, like. Oh, uh, we'd have to spend at least a week right at the or top, two weeks. Eight pilots I'd get up with. I. They're like, dude, you got to come out. I'm like, I wish. Um. Who knows? Out. If we can get Chris on a plane next year, maybe, just maybe, yeah, we're gonna we can get him to goes. fly a little uh, bit further. I may just get on a plane and go to Indianapolis for new three. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm going to, I got my mind set on doing it. So I've never flown on a plane. So yeah, I'm a sissy. I'd rather be in control. Now they say, all right, MD, we got you set up. You just go and climb in that pilot seat. Then we're good. That ain't happening because the rest of us are getting the hell off the plane. <laughs> Woo. Hey guys, what do you think about Yeah. We're yeah. Good. No, we're off the plane. Everybody's drink so good back there. No. You know, Josh said he was gonna he was willing to fly with you, but I'm not so sure that um he'll allow you to fly the plane. Oh, me and Josh can handle Oh that. hell no. I'm Trust getting me. off of the plane for sure. We'll be flying like over something, I'd be like, Mmm, you think we hit that gap? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, I would love it, trust me. <laughs> that freaking hotel abandoned hotel you guys fly at is off the chain. I would love to tear that place up. That place is epic as hell. <coughs> we ain't got nothing even close to that here. Nothing at all. The closest I'm gonna get is diving condos and OC when all the uh vacationist people leave. It's coming soon. And it's coming soon because it's getting chilly. Coming soon. And I plan on breaking some shit yet. Like, hell yeah. Yep. How far, hey, um, Justin, do you guys know uh, Jason Twitch FPV? He's in. What area do you say? Sam. I think Sam Bernardino area, whatever. Oh, I know, dude. You guys just have them spots out there like crazy. Look at that hotel, dude. It's just like in the middle of nowhere. It's Justin's like, holding out is what I'm hearing. Sure. That's what I'm hearing. He's sure. holding out. He's been hiding a lot. Mm. Here, as soon as something like that goes down, they will get rid of it because they don't want, you know, uh, people hanging out there. I haven't been by your spot yet, but I'm sure that that place is built. That now. doctor's office got to be built by now. Yeah, he's in the Bay Area. That's right. So you guys ain't nowhere near. He's a cool cat, too. Right, Birdman? You see it on the news. Power looping jets. Be like, God damn, MD's done commandeered to plane. Hey, I'm going to tell you now, up to where we're going to fly in the Mart Naylor Mill, there is a crop duster that comes over, and he comes over very low across those ball fields. I oh, promise shit. you guys, he shows up tomorrow. He's mine. I don't know. Doc to... might be chasing you down. Yeah, me and Doc's going to be on his tail, Jack. You better believe that. This guy, every time when me and Josh and Rusty Russell was up there, every time the freaking he would come, I 
me not have my pack or quad ready to fly. I must so keep one quad just right there with the battery in it. As soon as he comes, bang. <laughs> that would be crazy because he is like probably, he's not, I guarantee, I, if he's 100 feet, I'd be shocked. So, he's all in our territory. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Time to play. <laughs> and it won't be nothing crazy being stupid to try to jeopardize him or his plane. They're just trying to trail him a little bit and then pull off or something. What? I'm too we're live. Who are you full of... <laughs> Alrighty, on that note. Mm. Oh. Yes, Mike. I got them sitting back here in the corner with your stuff, bud. Look, everything's back there in that corner. You see that, right? Everything's shelf. back there in that corner. Well, you know what the problem with that is? Everything back there in that okay. corner is inviting my little space back there because, you know, that's Crystal's crazy corner. And, this of course, the drone area is ESC, growing, cameras, growing, growing. TVs, all kind of good stuff in there. Goody, goody, goodies. This is the TPU bag. <laughs> and, like I said earlier, this is the carbon bag. So I keep them all together. Another use for freezer bags. Yep. Storage for quad parts. Four days. Well, this one is loaded with everything. Motors and... Oh, that's the bag that you kept hidden for so long. All kinds of... I knew about frames and parts and things like that. That's the bag I did not know about. He's like, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Right here rattling. What's in the bag? Driving him crazy. What's in the bag? You're good. Nothing for you. Nothing to eat, I promise. <laughs> But yeah, that's my part stash back there. So I keep all the good parts that. You know, there's times I go through there and don't even know the shit I got there. I'm like, what? <laughs> I got what back here? Night, Leon. <laughs> Eric, I wish we could, babe, but in the park, they won't allow us to do that. I know, dude. I wish they would. Mr. Gauss said he needs a whole set of Did 3D get... stuff for the Source One frame. Can he buy that from you? Did you get up with um Eric Lynn? I got locked this deal and make sure you get together with him. That's a good deal on that module. I just read that to you. Did you not hear me? Sure. Yeah, but it's has to register. Yeah, man, uh what Keller? No I bet you I know what he's gonna say. I bet you I know what he's gonna say, and I think I got that covered. So what you're talking uh arm guard session mount? Front bumper, SMA mount. He said, I need that sweet, sweet pink. I knew it. I knew it. I do believe I got enough pink. Um, Text me a list of everything you need for it. Uh, I can get everything out for them frames. The V1, V2s, V3s. Check out what I did for my uh, Martian. He also saw Night Train. He printed. He printed. I did this. I did the um, bug eater too, but I haven't put it on yet. He did his in green. I did mine in purple. That's pretty cool. And then the bug eater goes in there and holds the camera. It's like knuckles if you look at it. It holds the standoffs. Pretty cool. But this thing's sweet right here. That's really nice. I like that. That's really nice. Turned out pretty good. But yeah, we'll work something out, gal. Like I said, shoot me a list on everything you need, and I'll get it printed out. And, uh, he said everything except the GoPro mount. I still have a fresh one for you. All right, so you need arm guards, uh, <coughs> SMA. I think that's pretty much it. You don't run ESCs on the arm, do you? Because to be honest with you, on the arms, well, not unless you're going for looks, but on the arms, I know that one still has it. I usually use props on the arms. It makes it it's so much more protection that hard prop on there but yeah no, no doubt all right i got y'all get it printed out for you 
think I'm good on crack. I think I got everything crack if I had a crack. No, I still got to get Leon's. Uh, I got to go to black and print Leon's. So I'll go to black, print that, and then I'll go on the pink. Yeah, but you'll be on pink before the end of the weekend. Yeah, for sure. Well, I might do the pink before Leon's because I still have to reach out to Richard. I got to definitely do that tomorrow, reach out to Richard and get him. I thought you'd already done that. I haven't done that yet. I got to text him. And you I'm are gonna... slipping badly. <laughs> I'm going to stay on top week. of your ass. Well, you have to, please. I you know, you, you've been online. promising Chuck that video for like a month, month and a half now. You're slipping but badly. Chuck, Chuck no, understand. I don't want to hear it. Uh-uh. Chuck nope, understand. nope, uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm. Chuck knows I'm a slacker. He's getting old. I'm getting old. You're getting old. It took me forever to find a video. I had too many videos on freaking... Uh, <laughs> saved into the thing. It's like, oh, where'd the video go? I think I might have deleted. That's going to be a cool video for the new tube. He so, said, nope, running all in one. All right, got you. All's in one. All's in one. Well, guys, we're going to wind this down. It's just about 10 o'clock, and we are going to eat some dinner. I know this late sounds crazy, but we're just having sandwiches. So It happens that. usually on Wednesdays and usually on Fridays. We so. ran out. Um, and grab uh, some elbows for my race gate before the show. So All about the drones. But we've been doing that. I was supposed to get them now for the past week and a half and haven't. So. Yeah, every time I told him, oh, we'll go when I get off work. He came, I came home and he was Ooh. tinkering. Doing something or getting involved with something. But, yep, it's good to stay busy and fun as hell. So. Chris yeah. Riley, love you, baby. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it, brother. Enjoy our hobby, guys. Get out there. Put a controller in your hands. Put a smile oh, sure. on your face. Right in Enjoy it. Sandwiches. That's well, guys, what it's all about. We appreciate your time, and we will catch you next Friday. Yep. Until next time, remember. Peace. Love y'all. Send it. Yeah, click it.